I knew this time around that um, all rules were broken. You see, we didn't see the watch. The watch was taken out, and then it was put back, and then I knew that all my sins are forgiven for having taken the time. Because ordinarily, once that watch is out and it gets counted, and each and every single minute is accounted for. Ladies and gentlemen, I think let's just give our patron another huge round of applause for allowing us to host him. Allowing us him to, for us to uh, get him to smell his roses and his flowers whilst he can. We've now come to the end of the evening. Well, it doesn't have to end, of course. Um, and I'm now going to call upon my core conspirator. I mean, the foundation we known as the, I wouldn't say the rebels, but I think we're known as those people who like nice things. <laughs> Ladies and gents, the co-founder and uh, executive director at Whiphold, Ms. Gloria Sirobe. She's disappointing me now. <laughs> That's it. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I was waiting for. There we go. That's the Gloria I know. Could you please bring us a, uh, a flute and a bottle of champagne? Could my team help us with the flute and a bottle of champagne as we go to toast? Thank you. I think I'll get it faster. I'll get there faster than you would this side. Let me just run. Good evening, uh, to be called a co-conspirator is quite complicated, but uh, just for tonight, I like the title. Um, I have to now propose a toast, and for this, uh, President Mbeki, it's the only time I can give instructions. You have to join me on stage. Yes. I said so. And then, uh, Sister Anela, I have to instruct her as well. I think when you met this young, gorgeous guy, you didn't dream about being married to an 80-year-old. That's where we are now. Uh, is special sister. I mean, what do you think now? I mean, look at that. Eh? <laughs> Thanks to see. Thank you, Sister Anna. And then the two glasses. Yeah? Two more glasses. And another glass. Yes. I love this dress. Eh? It's I, I, I found the piece of material in an Italian, in an Italian shop. It's one piece. It's gorgeous. It's so heavy. It's beautiful. Oh, it's already got a drink. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to propose uh, three toasts, and uh, the first one is really going to be based on uh, the fact that, uh, President, we want more and more time.
to tell you how much we love and honor you. We want the whole world to know you are loved and honored in this country. And because we say so. And so if you can rise, I hope you have the glasses now. The first toast would be, we want to do this while you can still hear us and see us and feel us. And so I will propose a toast to your health. Health. The second toast, hopefully when we do this, you will have lots and lots and lots of happiness. We just want to see that happy face. So I will propose a toast to your happiness. The last toast is really more out of self-interest now. Uh, out of self-interest. Um, we, are in, we are in trouble as a country. You, you left us with a, a big investment grading rating, triple B plus. We back to what you inherited in 1994. You left us with a huge surplus. See, yeah, younger than we pay them. We have a massive deficit in our hands. We need your wisdom, President. We're trying our best. We need your wisdom. We need your guidance. And in all the things you do, we need you to be extremely successful. And so the third toast is to your success. Thank you. You help me. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. And so There's a cake that cake should now. be cut. That's the tradition. We're not going to break it. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Well, as you can see, the conclusion of the celebrations of President, uh, former President Thabo Mbeki's uh, 80th uh, birthday, a gala dinner that's being held there at Saturn Convention Center center to celebrate him to celebrate uh, his life his works and uh, the president in his uh, speech
just uh, giving various anecdotes of his journey, not only as president, but uh, his educational journey, some of the leaders uh, that supported him, including the great Mualimu Julius Nyerere, saying, you know, he was there to see him off to school, even speaking about uh, one of his greatest legacies, I must say, and that is uh, he spoke about that library in Tumbuktu, which actually holds with the prized possessions of uh, African, uh, but you know, historical literary works, uh, whether it was in science, mathematics, and uh, it was one of uh, his passion projects, so to speak. He also spoke about that, how that came about, and also speaking, of course, about the Iraqi war and the conversations that he had there with uh, the former U.S. president uh, on that. So uh, you've been watching the birthday gala dinner celebrations, 80th birthday celebrations of former president uh, uh, Tabo Mbegi at the Santon Convention Center. And this is where we're going to end it uh, with the former president's cutting of the cake uh, the toast that was uh, made to him by Gloria Sorobo, one of uh, his uh, uh, close friends and uh, compatriots, uh, foremost businesswomen in the country who herself has played a major role in the empowerment of women, black business as well. Well, let's uh, leave it here for now. We're going to take a quick break.